11 p.m. I'm waiting for my mother to arrive. I think she will arrive around 6 a.m. So I decided to sleep at the airport and wait for her. I haven't seen my mom in a long time and I couldn't wait to show her what one of my most favorite countries has to offer. Together we had 14 days which weren't nearly enough but there was a special reason why I wanted these two weeks to be as amazing as possible. Her birthday. Happy birthday to... Happy birthday! Happy birthday! It's her birthday! It's my mom's birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to Happy birthday to 48 years! Woo! <laughs> and the best way to see the island is simply by driving around it. Actually my mom thought that we're gonna explore Taiwan by public transportation, but I called my friend Kelly to organize a car for the perfect road trip. And I called my friend Ellen to surprise her with a night in a five-star hotel for her birthday. In the end, my mom is a traveler like me and the biggest gift I could give her were unforgettable memories she would never forget. We started our trip in Taiwan's capital, which is a very diverse city full of busy shopping areas, markets and modern buildings. We live for life! Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! The Rainbow Village in Taichung was just a different world full of art and paintings. But it didn't take long until we left the city life and drove to a magical place called the Sun Moon Lake. And the best thing you can do there is renting a bicycle and just drive around the lake. If I had to name one place my favorite in Taiwan, I would say it's the Ching Jing Farm, which is home to fluffy fluff puffs and which is just such a relaxing place in the mountains. But the most scenic roads are on the way to Alishan National Park, which is the best place for hiking and sunsets. To see more of the history of Buddhism, it's a must to stop by in the artistic city of Kaohsiung. The closer we got to the most southern point of Taiwan, the bigger variety of viewpoints and beaches welcomed us. I would describe Taiwan's east coast as the wild and more unexplored side of the country. This is the east coast of Taiwan. But definitely as the more interesting part as well. And this small island just blew my mind. It's just a real masterpiece made by Mother Nature. Driving these roads with a car were amazing and there was always a place to stop and get blown away by Taiwan's stunning views. It was my second time in Taiwan and experiencing it together with my mother made it even more beautiful and special to me. And I will always look back and remember it. So, jetzt müssen wir abholen. <laughs> online. Well, little did I know that I would move to one of the world's most restrictive countries for the internet. Turkey. I can't believe that Turkey is one of the most restrictive countries when it comes to internet. 